guys, it's Lauren. I'm so excited to film this video. Okay, today is a big throwback day. Get ready to feel nostalgic. Get ready to remember the past. I am going to the stores that I shopped at when I was like 13. Cause why not? I feel like I always walk by these stores in the mall and I'm like, oh my God, like TBT. And now I'm like, why don't I go back in there, see what's popping, try things on, what do they have in their stores these days, and possibly put together some really cute outfits. This is gonna be easy for me because over the past like four years, I feel like I haven't grown an inch. I'm literally still the height of a child. So I think I'll fit and this should be really fun. So I'm thinking of going to stores like Justice, Abercrombie, Hollister, that kind of vibe today. Let's go, I'm excited. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe down below and join the notification gang. Guys, turn on your notifications so that every time I post, you can be like the first one there because who doesn't wanna do that? Am I right? Okay, let's go. My outfit of the day today is pretty simple, nothing crazy, I didn't necessarily go off, but I wanted to wear something comfy that I could easily slip in and out of Closing, you feel me? All right, let's go. All right, guys, we are at the mall. I just got here. Okay, so the first place we're going is Justice. I was always more of a limited two girl myself. Comment down below if you were a limited two girl. If you know, you know. If you don't, I feel bad for you. So the reasons that I loved limited two is because they had like tube tops and crop tops and those little like sideways hat. And I was like 10 years old wearing tube tops and crop tops because it was my thing, you know, I loved it. Uh, like ever since I was born, I just wanted to be like, I wanted to slay, you know what I mean? And then I remember when they shut down limited two and justice stayed open because I believe they're owned by the same people. I was pissed, like I was, really sad because justice was more like sparkly and cutesy and limited to I felt was more like bad bitch 2000s I mean bad bitch but like 10 years old but like me so let's go into justice let's see what clothes they have there I always walk by and I see some things in the window I'm like what is going what's happening in there so it should be really fun to explore together let's go oh my god so I already see a lot of sparkles oh but I see really cute back to school stuff like cute sparkly backpacks and lunch boxes oh cute um oh my god oh I'm definitely gonna try things on okay so my game plan guys is I'm gonna act like I'm shopping for my niece for a gift and I'm gonna say that she's my exact size so that's gonna explain me trying on clothes at justice as a 21 year old woman um, this is gonna be so funny also it's my favorite store behind me hi hello okay well, let's go in there I'm nervous okay so I was already getting such flashbacks from this store the sparkles the sequins the camo the bows the hair things the little short everything was bringing me right back the back to school backpacks with the glitter all over it I felt like I was in the fifth grade again I'm literally not even kidding I remember liking those lunch boxes with like the L on it for my name and oh my god the graphic tees the shirts that are like stay chill or like stay beautiful rad girl power okay so i felt like literal hannah montana in this outfit like no exaggeration the little round toe booties the cheetah skirt the leather jacket i don't know if you could see it but this shirt was a unicorn shirt it was sparkly it was unicorns i literally felt like hannah montana in this there was no other way for me to put how i felt why do I feel like the band is about to start playing? Da -na 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 -na. You get the limo vibe. Okay, this outfit, guys, I couldn't even take myself seriously in this one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's so cute for a little girl. But when I was in this, I'm like, am I Miley Cyrus? Am I Selena Gomez in Wizards of Waverly Place? It just felt so Disney Channel to me. So maybe that's what Justice is. Maybe it's like a very Disney Channel store. I don't know. But now, if I don't wear pointy boots, like I don't even wear them, I just feel like, Pointy boots are so womanly, and round toe boots, girl, not my thing. So wearing these, I was like, I have the horses in the back. It's not my vibe. It's not my vibe these days, but it once was. Oh my God, these shoes, guys, the sparkly shoes. Again, so cute for a little girl, but holding them in my hand, I'm like, oh my God. Yo, this pink purse was so cute. You cannot tell me that this pink purse is not cute. It gave me early 2000 vibes. It gave me Paris Hilton vibes, and this whole outfit, I feel like I snapped in it, like low key. I feel like this is something that I would have worn when I was little. 
This denim skirt is so cute. It's a skirt. Do you guys remember skirts when they would like come with the shorts on the inside? They were so comfortable. This whole outfit is something that I definitely would have worn. I felt so cute in this, like low key. I was like, it's girly, it's pink, the skirt's adorable, the bag is cute. I felt like a bad bitch in this. And I know that 10 year old me would wear something like this like almost every day. This was me at 10. So cute, right? The little girl power shirt, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of graphic tees, but this one was like low-key cute. I felt bitchy in this. I just felt good. Yeah, why do I feel like this is me on Fridays, on dress down Fridays, you know what I mean? Like dress down day on a Friday, this would be me. Not gonna lie, some of those pieces felt so nostalgic, like that little um, denim skirt with the fringe on it. I remember like wearing that. So it's crazy that they still have it. Anyways, that was very fun, very interesting. Very, uh, what's the word? Reminiscent, is that the word? Okay guys, I'm outside of Hollister. I am so shocked that they have a Gilly Hicks. Like I thought Gilly Hicks was done with. Okay, so my personal story with Gilly Hicks is when I was like in freshman year of high school and like eighth grade, I had size double A boobs, which is smaller than an A. It was like little mosquito bites, right? And Gilly Hicks was the only store that offered push-up bras in a double A. So I would go to Gilly Hicks, get my push-up bras to try to make it look like I had boobs. Honestly, when I was in ninth grade, I was so sad because I thought I was never gonna get them. And I was pushing those little girls up as hard as I could. And look at me now. Look at me now. Okay, let's go into Hollister. Let's see what's popping. Let's see some Gilly Hicks. Yo, guys, this is so funny. Let's, let's go. Okay, Hollister low-key. Hollister's clothes are kind of cute. Okay, do you remember these jeans? Hollister jeans. I would wear them to school like every single day. They're so comfortable. And like all their stuff is very comfortable, cozy, cute, you know, very California vibes. And the store had like a lot of cute things. I was looking for some flannels because that's what I remember from Hollister is like all their flannels. And I couldn't find any in the store. I was like, what? Do you guys have flannels? Did y'all change or something? Like where are your flannels at? Oh my God, the bras, the Gilly Hicks bras. I cannot believe that Gilly Hicks is still a thing. I couldn't find the size 32 AA, but just for you to see, this is a 32A and that's how much push-up padding it has in it. So when I was in like eighth grade, that was my thing because I had mosquito bites, but I knew that on the inside I was a big boob girl. These jeans are so comfortable. I used to wear them to high school like literally every single day. And honestly, putting them on, I was like, yo, these are lit. Like they made my body look good. They were comfortable. They were low rise jeans, which I feel like I don't have enough of these days. I feel like everything is so high waisted. So putting on some low rise jeans was kind of refreshing. And this top was everything. Like, can we agree? Leave a comment. Do you think this outfit is cute? I felt cute in this outfit. Like I felt cute, cute in this outfit. So uh, this skirt was so cute. I low-key wish it was a little bit shorter, but I've always been a fan of short skirts, short shorts, that's my thing. But this one was very modest and conservative. We love that, adorable. And the bodysuit was actually really cute. It fit me really well and I was like, okay Hollister, you know what? Come on, these clothes are super cute. I was feeling so many nostalgic vibes in this store with the smell of it, the music. I will say that the music has gotten a lot lower. Remember when you would walk into stores like that and the music would just be blaring at you? I have to give it to them. The music has been lowered. It feels like a completely different vibe. This two-piece set, guys, I loved it. I have to say, I love this two-piece set. When I put it on, I was like, Oh, okay. I love the little top. I love the little skirt. Do I wish the little skirt was a little bit shorter? Yes, but I feel like I always want that for my skirts. Like I love a little like short skirt moment. I'm also really short, so any skirt for me is just gonna feel a little bit longer because it's probably made for someone with bigger legs. But this was like a little clueless moment for me. They also had it in yellow and I was, I was living for this. I low-key almost bought this. I was like, do I need to buy this right now? Like, this is so cute. I feel like you could dress it up with heels, you could dress it down with a pair of chunky sneakers, and maybe some like high white dad socks. It was super cute. Hey guys, here we are outside of Abercrombie Kids. So let me tell you a little bit about my memories from Abercrombie. I would get the little booty shorts and then I would pair them, you know, the denim iconic Abercrombie booty shorts, and I would pair them with those like iconic Abercrombie tank tops and I would always make it like a little crop top. Loved that. I also loved like the hoodies for school. Honestly, this whole store brings back the memes. So let's go in there, see what's popping these days. Maybe put together a couple cute outfits. You never know what could happen. I don't even think I'm gonna fit. 
Let's go. Okay, so this bralette was super cute. I was so worried about this not fitting me. And this jumpsuit, I never owned one of these. I really regret it. I've never owned one of these. But oh my God, aren't these overalls everything? I don't know why I've never owned a pair of overalls in my life, but this is so cute. And I feel like an Abercrombie one is such an iconic staple piece. And maybe I'm like 10 years late, but you know, the Abercrombie mini shorts are so iconic. The little short shorts from Abercrombie, that used to be my thing. It didn't matter where I was going, I would always put on these Abercrombie short shorts. My parents would be so pissed at me, like, you need to get longer shorts, da da da. But I loved my little mini shorts from Abercrombie. And putting them back on, I was like, oh my God, I remember why I love these so much. They're so cute. And the Abercrombie polo, do you remember wearing those when you were younger and feeling bougie and like country club, Sharpay Evans vibe? That's what I felt like. That's what I felt like, bougie, Sharpe Evans, girly, cute. I just wanted to go play some golf on the course. And look, the little Abercrombie t-shirts. I remember I used to have so many of these like classic Abercrombie tees. They were just comfortable and Abercrombie was like the cool thing. Oh, and I love these little Abercrombie short shorts. I love them, they're super cute. Low key, all of these outfits I felt so comfortable in and they were so cute. All right, guys, we're home. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. What a fun trip down memory lane, a little nostalgia, and it was really fun. Okay, so do you shop at any of these stores? Let me know down below. And join the notification gang, get notified every time I post. And if you're joining the notification gang today, comment your Instagram. I'm gonna go stalk your selfies and like a couple of them and get to know your face because now that you're notified of my posting, I wanna be notified of who you are. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video if this is something you enjoyed. Subscribe and yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Bye.